Share this article tweet Brent Jaspinski May 25, 2018 If you haven't already heard by now, Honda set the motorcycle industry on fire Wednesday with the announcement of its 2019 CRF off-road, motocross and dual sport, yes, you read that, right, dual sport model lineup. While upgrades and improvements to current models are always exciting and welcomed news, the announcement of the all-new CRF450L is something that really took us by surprise, and ought to make some big waves in the motorcycle world. 2019 Honda CRF Off-Road, Motocross and Dual Sport Model Line First look Honda has always been known as one of, if not the most conservative manufacturers, so for Big Red to step out and break the mold like this is pretty awesome. I'm going to go out on a limb and say, I think Honda has played a role in just about every rider's story and their introduction to motorcycling in one way or another. Growing up on XRs and then CRFs, it certainly did for me. Having the ability to legally ride on and off-road, as any dual sport rider can attest to, is a big deal, and it truly opens up the world of opportunities. You can now go basically wherever you want. No one likes getting stopped by the police, told they can't be somewhere, or worse, getting their bike impounded for not being street legal, ask me how I know. The beauty of the CRF450L, though, is that unlike other dual sports on the market, save for the KTM EXCF and Husqvarna FE models, like the Suzuki Drive Z400, DR650, Kawasaki KLR650 or Honda XR650L, the 450L has more actual dirt bike DNA than the others. This essentially translates to higher performance capabilities. Check out the spec sheet comparing the 2019 Honda CRF450R XNL below. You'll notice that for the most part, all the fundamentals are the same. The only main differences are the R's compression ratio, 13.5, one compared to the XNL's 12.01, the various tires on each bike's weight, which is mostly accounted for by the headlights, turn signals and heavier EPA-compliant exhausts. The meat and bones of all three bikes are essentially the same, but each is tweaked and tuned differently for its own purpose. The XNL have six speed transmissions, which is one more cog than last year's X versus the R's 5, and the steering geometry is slightly different, but that's to be expected for the quicker steering R motocrosser. Here's why all this is important and the real reason why we're excited, at 289 pounds, the CRF 450L ain't no pig. XR650L, 346 pounds, to 57 pounds. CRF 250L, 317.5 pounds. To 28.5 pounds. KLR 650, 432 pounds, to 143 pounds. KLX 250, 304 pounds, to 15 pounds. DR 650, 366 pounds, to 77 pounds. Dr. Z 400, 317 pounds, to 28 pounds. Off-roading not really your thing? It could be, and you just don't know it yet. Or, imagine the 450L with 17-inch supermoto wheels and tires. Are we getting warmer yet? The CRF450L is lighter than even the two smallest 250cc dual sports mentioned above. On the asphalt, you won't notice the weight as much, but on the trail is another story. For the more hardcore dual sport guys, the 450L can get even lighter with the removal of all the EPA stuff like the charcoal canister and heavy muffler, and that's not to mention the performance gains you'll get in return, a win-win if you ask me. While we don't recommend or endorse doing that, it will be the first thing any true off-roader or prospective buyer would do. I know I would, and maybe even plan to now. Who knows? The aforementioned dual sports can tackle most light off-roading and fire roads with ease and more moderate terrain and stockish trim, too, sure, why not?
but the CRF450L should be able to hang with the real dirt bikes through the gnarly stuff, no problem. Before you say the other bikes can do what real dirt bikes can do, know that for the most part one agree with you, and yes, the XR650 has dominated Baha'i in the past. Any bike in the right hands is capable of just about anything. I've even seen an XR650 run underwater, like completely submerged, exhaust burbling and everything, and for a lot longer than I would have ever imagined. A few kicks later and it came back to life. That's a Honda for ya, baby. You don't need to load and unload a pickup truck or trailer to get here. Ride the CRF450L on the road and ride onto the trail. So easy, even a caveman can do it. The world is your oyster. On the other hand, maybe you're not a big off-road rider, and would rather slap some 17s on and turn it into a supermoto, you'd have our blessing, that's for sure. The amount of fun you can have on a supermoto should be illegal. Just kidding, but with everything else slowly becoming outlawed these days, we're surprised the fun police haven't blown the whistle on motards, yet. So get after it while you can. The 2019 Honda CRF450L is expected to become available in September, and $10,399 might sound like a pretty penny, but you can't put a price on all the places you could go and the amount of legal fun you could have on this thing in the process. With two sets of wheels and tires, you could have the ultimate motorcycle. Just saying.